Well, that's sad. We are on the Mark Oak Show, of course. Event number 15 of the off Tail Poker Tables Tournament Series. Fired up, ready to go. We've got the featured table on the board right now. Um, looking at, uh, let's see how many players do we have at this point after I got my little business done there. Uh, we've got 16 players. So some valuable points for the top five tonight. Pretty important stuff. How about Greg Elder, by the way, saying he listened to the show all the time? I like that. That yeah. was pretty cool. I know he did. I actually, I remember Greg uh, talked to me a while back, said, you know, I really like the show, and then, you know, dropped me a line a little while ago, and, hey, I got a new book coming out. I'm like, hey, let's talk about it. That sounds like a blast, too. I want that book. Get the book, Sam. I'm going to get the book. But remember, Mark, gambling is still gambling. Whether you're doing it with an advantage or not, there's no guarantees. Well, I understand that. I think it's just fascinating to to read about, you know, some of the intricacies that go into to being a, an advantage player. And, you know, I, I, I really want to read about the uh, some of the stuff that they do in casinos. I, I mean, I know a few of the tricks, you know, they're built to keep you in, not let you out, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I, I want to check it out. Sounds pretty cool. You can live it too. I, I, I could. I'm here. I can. I can live it. And once again, by the way, that book is a winning gambling strategy and how to get it by Greg Elder. If you want to take a look at that, and of course, don't forget to go to uh, pppokertour.com and take a look at what the PPC's got going on. You know, Nate, let's. Uh, you know, I want to talk to you about that too because there's so many events that are going to be going on during the World Series. You know, of course, you know we always think about the Venetian tournaments and you know the deep stacks and so on. But, you know, this is going to be an interesting event for them. Uh, you know, mostly we're working out of Florida and now really branched this thing out all over the country. Uh, you know, I think it's a pretty good spot for the for that tournament, too. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's uh, Now, Florida is a huge poker state. Oh, absolutely it is. Absolutely. Ab whether, whether you're playing, dealing... Or, or whatnot, however you're involved in, in poker, Florida is an up-and-coming state. I don't see online poker in their future very, very soon. But uh, every every other side of poker is great in, in Florida. All right. And uh, Morpheus Waits asking a question. And of course, they are on the Mark Hoke Show Facebook page. So if you haven't been checking out the Facebook page lately, well, you know what? Bad. Very bad. Shame on you. Oops, and I actually have it blocking the screen right now. How about that? Why don't we move that over just for fun? There we go. Of course, uh, we also have a link to the story, or actually the video, of Dan Blazarian, or Bilzerian, excuse me. Did I say Blizz? Bilzerian. Blitz. Blitz. Thro they, they call him Blitz. Throwing porn star Janice Griffith off of his roof into his pool. Doesn't she look good, though? Oh, that's cute. It's a great picture up there. Until she hits her ankle on the cement. Yeah, not so good there. But uh, go to the Mark Hoke Show on Facebook page. You can take a look at the standings. You can look at uh, Dan Blazarian. You know, whatever you, whatever you need, we got it. A fool with money. Hey, you know what? I want to be remembered like that. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> that's how I want to be remembered. Yeah. Throwing a porn star money. off a... Off a uh, roof <laughs> no just a hey, fool you know what? if you get the porn star naked and get her up on a roof i think you got something going for you i agree probably a fat wallet but you know it's all good all right well let's take a look at the updated standings uh which of course once again are on the mark hoke show facebook page uh we have your leader right now after picking up some points last uh, last event is shum cooley is one events number one and 11 at 2201 s brisk Hanging in there in second at 2069. Just lost the lead. Been at the top of the standings for most of the way here. Uh, he's won two events. Mad City Ads, that would be you, Nate. Seven events, seven and 12 winner at 20.5. Uh, would definitely say these players are safe. Uh, Rock Forever event, 10 winners in fourth place at 18.92. Guitar 195X, uh, one of four multi-event winners. That's a record. Uh, event three and 14 has 55 or 15.54 points. Cool Ring Pros in sixth with an event five win at 14.12. Clandy in seventh, 13.36. They won event number nine. XX Esoteric is an eighth, 12.19. Event one, event 13. Zombie Paradox, the Mighty Wookiee. Event eight winner is 
at 12.10. Scrub uh, hasn't scored for a while, but has been able to you know put up some big points early. He's at 11.13. Clemson Donk was the big mover from last week. We were talking about how important those points were, and it was a critical win there or critical score for Clemson Donk. Goes to 9.51. Has got himself in okay shape at this point. Uh, Zion is still in there too, 8.67. And uh, congrat- by the way, we got to congratulate Zion on the birth of his uh, child. Uh, you know, he and his wife, I know we're going through a lot of stuff there, but congratulations, Zion. Way to go. Another kid in the clan. The Mappa, 13th place, 7.68. Morpheus Waits at 6.51. Lucky Man, 489 at 6.16. Closer, 2003, still hanging in there, 6.13. Heel Young also moved up last week, or last time, of course, we weren't here on Easter, uh, 5.61. The bubble person is an event winner. Hallow Wicked at 5.03 points is on the bubble right now. So plenty of opportunities to catch Hallow Wicked for anybody that is in that group at this point. So there's your there's your top 18, Nate. Nice. And which table is the feature table today? Feature table right now uh, at this moment is S. Brisk in C1. DJ Deep V, the Mighty Lou Trochet. Glad he's doing better. He had to go back to the hospital again. But uh, the DJ is there in seat two, Rock Forever. Once again, fourth place in the standings right now is in seat three, Mad City Ads. In seat four, Scrubby is here. In seat five, Morpheus Waits in seat six. Coolering Pro in seat seven and Rounding, 0216. And there's a there's a name that everybody's got to be watching out for because Rounding uh, sitting at 3.01 points, so a good score tonight. Gets rounding back in contention in this thing. Uh, a lot of these players at the table, except for Deep V, uh, in the top 18 at this point. So a pretty good group of players. Banging it out here on the Mark Oak Show. I'm trying to win the whole dang thing. I don't blame you. The only thing that's important is the table. I agree. And, of course, uh, this is a horse event. Uh, we will do one more Hold'em event next time, and then the championship, a deep-stacked Hold'em event. No guess, just poker excitement that somebody's going to win a brand new poker table. Pure um, online poker, but we should have we should at least have call-ins for the players. To oh, we always have show. the call-ins, absolutely. All right. And of course, you want to call the show right now. It's seven zero two nine nine seven three zero one five, and you better remember that for the World Series. Morpheus waits. They are on the Facebook page, the Mark Hoke Show. Find, look up the Mark Hoke Show on Facebook. They are posted on that page. So good luck to you, Nate. Have fun. Always having fun, Mark. Yeah, always, so. always trying to trying to focus on this Raz and this this Raz stuff is just uh, wow. Seven the... seven red cards there. Scrubby got the Scrubby got the eight the black ace. <laughs> Is that like uh, that bad luck in Haiti or something? <laughs> I think so. In Haiti. Isn't, Got, isn't Sean Penn still in Haiti? Oh, uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, but uh, Kevin's, uh, Kevin Salmon winning the WPT championship yesterday. Congratulations to him. And uh, big congratulations to our good friend Tony Dunst finishing third in that so a lot of the wpt players uh well now they those guys have two choices at this point it's either come back and get ready for the world series or head on over to the last ept event going on over in monaco before the world series begins so of course some of the big dogs headed over there and you know try and get a nice little trip to europe in before the world series grind begins seven weeks oh fun that is for sure of course, we'll be there broadcasting every day. We got two shows a day scheduled. Sometimes more. Oh, depends what's going on, I suppose. And of course, you now we'll have our live coverage for the main event. You know, usually at day six and six and seven for sure. Maybe day five this year, since we got some extra peeps to help out. We could be going all the way. The only live broadcast going on anywhere at the World Series of Poker. Unfortunately, you know, I probably won't be able to get in again this year. We did commentary two years ago from the press box, but uh, you know, we'll 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 have a system. 
We'll we'll let you know what's going on. Cross your fingers. Oh, we have a system. There is a system out there. I know the system. The well, get with the system and, and get us in every one of those freaking daily deep stacks too, Mark. Yeah, there you go. Those daily deep stacks are just amazing. Fifty thousand dollar first place prizes for a freaking two hundred and thirty five dollar buy in every single day of the main event or the, of the World Series. It's not bad. That's so good. They do tail off towards the end, though. I would warn you. I, I played one. What the last five days when nobody yeah, else, right. when everybody's busting out of the main event and getting ready to go home. Yeah, well, that's one of the ones I played. <laughs> well, but the, then it's just a lighter field, not as good a competition. Yeah, it was. It was pretty well. Yeah, you know, actually, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna necessarily agree with that lighter field thing, because the diehards are there, and I ran. I I tell you what, the the guy's you know, still I, I looking a, to make a score. I had a great run. Great run in one of the carnival events I played last year. Or the deep stack tournament was a small one. I, I'm, I only missed the money by a couple of spots, but it was so sad. Did, did I tell you the story about what happened to me at the deep stack event I played last year? No. Oh, my God. So going on next to me that day was the $5,000 open face Chinese event. <laughs> so, six, of course, six, six, six. players are dropping out of the open face Chinese event, you know, get knocked out of there. And lo and behold, this guy come, gets knocked out and just comes over, enters the tournament just like that. I had the table. You know, it was a little light, but I had the table pretty well pegged. And then all of a sudden, here he comes, first hand, all in, next hand, all in, all in, all in. And, of course, he does double up a couple of times, you know, just to give him more chips and fun. But that's all he was doing. He was just trying to either get in and double up real quick or get out. I'm like, why couldn't you just stay in the open face tournament? Put me in a bad spot. Didn't enjoy it. Well, that's the way it goes. That is the way it's, it goes. He's poker, man. But it was fun getting to see the uh, open face Chinese tournament. Whew. Rotten timing on that, though. Horrible timing on that last year. That was the one thing I was worried about because I know everybody was really excited about it. But then, you know, having it on day day four of the World Series main event, yeah, that wasn't a good call. <laughs> Well, I know what they were trying to do. They thought some guys were going to be around, and well, they weren't. So, they were most of the good players were still in with the roles to play a five thousand dollar open face Chinese. Yeah. Really, five thousand dollar open face Chinese? Hey, whatever works for you. I guess that was cheaper than some of the cash games that were going on. Probably. Oh, God. Five hundred dollars a point and bonuses and. Everything else they were getting. And the dealers really hated that game. Oh, they, they did. stuck at it so long, and they were getting crap for tips. Yeah. Yeah, not good. Not good for the morale of the dealers. No. Not at all. They get a bad attitude, and then things start going wrong, and there's nothing you can do about it. All right. So here we are. We've got a event 15, the off Till Poker Tables Tournament Series, going on right now. As these players are duking it out. Um, let me uh, pull the tournament information here. And we can take a look at what's going on. Who's on that other table? Burner 220 is over there. Danger Meow. Guitar 195X. JB Wisconsin. Clandy Slick 142. The Devotee. That is a new one. And the Mappa. Hanging around in here. So 16 players. And nobody's busted yet. Stunning. Could be a long day's night for us, Nate. I'm going to bust somebody here in just a second. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Burner is your leader. Uh, 3273, Mad City adds 2810. Rounding, 0216, 2540. Danger Meow, 2450. DJ Deep V, 2128, your top five at this point. All right, and of course, so on the screen right now, we're at Limit Stud. And Mad City adds is in there with said rounding 0216. And they hit 7th Street. And, oh, there's, a, oh, there's some king make, We both make sets on the river. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Not for you, anyway. Trip Kings for rounding, and off he goes. That's okay. Nice yeah. answer. Taking some chips away. It's okay. They weren't mine to begin with. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> are, you going, are you going rounders on us? 
No. It's a me? fucking joke anyway. <laughs> I'm playing with your money. I pay you with your own money. I miss that show. I borrowed my DVD to a buddy of mine. Don't ever no. borrow your DVD collection to a friend. My wife lost my rounders disc. I have to get a new one. Oh, my buddy Kiyoki's got mine, along with Casino and Lucky You and a couple other ones. He's got my entire collection. Well, Lucky You, you're, you're just fine without having that in your collection. I like Lucky oh, You. Oh, for God's sake. I like sake. Lucky You a lot. I really do. Not because of the poker that's played in it, but because of the Vegas scenes that are in it and the, the different things in Vegas that you actually see. Like, have you ever walked into somebody's house, Mark, and seen that? They didn't have any furniture. They've lived there in the same house for four, five, six years, but they don't have any furniture. They don't have anything, just a TV and maybe a beanbag chair. It's so bad. Only in Vegas do you find that often. Oh, God, Nate. I'm a <laughs> what? You should look at some of your neighbor's apartments. They've probably Sorry. got the same exact setup. Right the closer to the strip you get, the more you'll find it. You. I'm talked right over my sound bite. See, I didn't. I'm not hearing the sound again. Really? Yeah, again. Oh. For the love of I told you that when we were coming back from the last God. commercial, I was trying to tell you. Oh. What a day. If you missed the beginning of the show, you really didn't miss a hell of a lot. <laughs> Which beginning? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take three. It's just little, three? Had That's a little funny. technical difficulties there. Well, I think technically, if you look at how many times I hit stop and start, it would have been like, I think around seven or eight, somewhere in that ballpark. But we got it right at the end. Thank God. I had a lot of fun talking to Brian today. I, I, I'll i tell you what, the PPC is a, a very interesting tour. I'm just wondering how many more, um, how many more people are going to start taking up that model of doing a mostly satellite type tournament. I mean, I think it's a great model. You know, and a chance to you know go to Aruba and have a good time. I mean, it's you know it's something else. You guys have really grown that thing in a hurry. Nate, <laughs> Nate no commenting and just giggling gleefully. Oh yeah, that's because I'm I'm playing poker at the same time, Mark. It's a okay. fun thing to do. I'm multi tabling. I'm multi sites. It's a fun, very fun thing to do. And when you're bluffing into somebody's hand, like with the cards that they have, like I was betting 777 chips trying to represent pocket sevens, and then he showed me pocket sevens, and I had to show him my pocket fours. Yeah. It was it was kind of embarrassing. Oh, you pay for it that. It was a giggling moment. It you was a pay. <laughs> it was a giggling moment. It was worth a giggle. It really was. I wonder if Lou Trochet is available. I'm gonna ask him since he's actually playing this one. Last time he, uh, last time he did this, he sat it out. Let's run stud high low, playing for the high hand and the low hand. Players get two cards down, four cards up, one card down. Stakes are at eighty-one sixty with a sixteen any. Tis a goofy number. Tis tis a goofy number. But um. Pretty nice pot right now, over 1,100 in there. Aces cool versus pro tens short. versus a... I'm guessing he's got a flush draw. Some, rock, yeah, whatever. somebody's got a flush or a straight draw or something crazy in there. Cooling pro showing the aces. Oh. oh, look at that. Running fours help grounding, but... Oh, trip uh, queens and jacks right off the bat for rock. Boy, that... And, and you know, that was an interesting pot there because, you know, all, everybody really didn't have much of a choice to keep that small with cooling pro having those aces out there. But there was no way that you could get Rock Forever to fold those jacks and queens. Yeah. And the sixes. And the sixes, but played, he didn't get the played, sixes. He could have played the queens and sixes. <laughs> he was good. With those aces with those aces out there, if if they it was cooling for betting the whole way? Yep. Wow, it's it's really hard once somebody, especially they, they came in and then they hit the ace on 4th Street and then on 6th Street to make their pair of aces, it's hard to play against somebody not believing that they have aces up. All right, so still nobody out of this thing yet. I'm working on it, man. I'll be out in just a minute. <laughs> the, the, the flurry of pain will come soon. 
Usually when we do the Hold'em tournaments, people just blow up, and we've lost five people in ten minutes. But a big one for Burner here. Of course, uh, I know Burner needed some points tonight. Let me uh, let me check this out. And, of course, don't forget, coming up on Wednesday, we'll be back on KLAV 1230 AM with a spectacular guest, whomever it may be. Ace, king, and ace, king, and I folded pocket fours. <sighs> so join, make sure. I would have lost. They both make a straight. Yeah, so make sure you join us on KLAV 1230 AM here in Las Vegas or on KLAV1230AM.com, wherever you are in the world. Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Always a great show. I had Phil Gordon on this last week. How about that? That was awesome. Six foot nine. I wish he wouldn't have had to call in, though. I, I tried getting him live, man, but he didn't want to make the trip from Washington down yeah. Oh, to yeah, I get that. Vegas and then back for the hour show. Yeah, well. <laughs> he couldn't expedite the... That's all right. That will, that'll <laughs> change soon. Well, he hasn't been into poker nearly as much the last few years. Well, I believe that may have more to do than just family life. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Boy, just didn't get into it with him. Just it didn't fit the way things the conversation was going. So I so wanted to just call him out on just a little bit of it. Well, I know he wasn't a board I'll member get or anything. This but summer. There's, a, I, there's a lot of a lot of things that still need to be brought up about the issues see here's here's the thing this is what people sometimes don't understand is when you get a second interview with somebody that's the time that you can really barrel into them you know because then they know you and they they know that you're not being a jerk you're just asking questions i agree you know so and it was like last well, like last year at the world series everybody like when melanie weisner came on the show I was getting all sorts of comments in the chat about, oh, oh Millie Weiser, oh, ask her about, ask her about lock poker. Oh, I'm like, are you kidding me? I just met her. <laughs> she I, just did know, the World Series Academy with uh, David Bakes Baker. Yeah. You've got, you've got a 10 minute interview with somebody you've never met and you're going to blow them up just like that. No, 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 no. That whole thing's a mess as is. That's still situation still completely unresolved. So, but poker stars might be going into California. There's a possibility. Of course, yeah. uh, a lot of uh, a lot of speculation going on in the that the California legislature is going to have a bill passed in August. My sources tell me something is going to pass. So, brace yourself because if that California domino falls, we're all in business, baby. Woo! Sheldon Adelson's money is going to get focused over there. Um, but I do like how Marco Valerio was able to testify on not only does it help uh, the the poker like uh, poker players, but it also creates jobs and a, a million different other things. With online poker coming to California, there's going to be tons of other jobs from support to writers to um, media, other guys like you and me, Mark, that are, are out here trying to get our name out so that we can do other things in the poker world. Oh, so, by the way, ooh, Morpheus pipping, picking up kings against DJ Deep V there with the queens. Lucky that was limit. That kind of kept that under control. How much too much? Stakes are 100, 200 right now. Rounding has raised this preflop to 200. Yeah, but if you would, by the way, if you would like to listen to Phil Gordon, or of course, so we had uh, have had so many other great guests on the KLAV show, along with our shows here on Roguewire, uh, just go to markhokeshow.podbean.com. Or you can find us on iTunes, subscribe, and you know get those uh, get those podcasts sent to you every day. It's great stuff, boy. The the numbers keep going up on the podcast too. It's pretty exciting. So, I'm one of the listeners. Yep. Of course, also on Twitter, you can give us a follow there at Mark Hoke Show, Facebook the Mark Hoke Show, and you can follow me at Grinding and Ground. I still say you got to change that, dude. Well, I've also got Vegas Tales, T A L E S. I know, but your focus is the grinding ground one. I think I think you have to. 
The grinding and ground is my poker and coffee, but I've also used it for my online poker for the last couple of years. I, I think you need to consolidate it a little bit. It seems like it breaks the character rule. It doesn't, but it feels like it. You know, grinding and ground, that's long. It's got a lot of G's in it. Yeah, sure does. It's memorable. Good. Good. That's what it's called. Good. Follow Gulp. Nate on follow it's... Nate on Twitter at Good. Grinding an N, just a letter N. Ground. Good. How about good? Grinding and ground. Good. <laughs> or you can follow Mark A. Hole uh, Hoke. <laughs> 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 the pretentious middle initial. You bet you just like Chad Holloway. Uh, yeah, but his isn't so close to hole at the end. Oh, what am I going <laughs> to do about that? Uh, oh, my word. No, Rounding's really running it up over here. He's He's got a little over 4,000 in chips. He needs it, too. We are now going to limit OH. So, Omaha... High low. I don't think I'll ever do that again. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, uh, Checking the stand is, mm, excuse me, sorry. A little sneeze there. Uh, rounding right now is in 23rd place at 3.01, but a good finish uh, would get him in the top 18 going into the last event. We know how exciting that is with that bubble. So, well, let's not get his hopes up, Mark. Well, I am at his table. Well, we gotta, you know, we gotta <laughs> lay that out. Uh, some of the players on the other tables uh, that are really in need of points. Uh, Slick one forty two is over there. Uh, Slick started off today at two point two one, so Slick is gonna need to get some points to get back into this thing. Uh, Danger Meow is not even on the board. That's kind of shocking. Uh, so she's probably gonna need a first or second tonight to have a chance for next week. Uh, let's see who else we have flying around here. Uh, the devotee is a new player. Uh, we also have the mopper and the mopper right now, uh, in 13. So trying to maybe wrap a spot up there. Clandy's in the top, uh, is in seventh right now in good shape. Uh, JP Wisconsin actually, you know, usually a, a contender there, uh, is in 29th right now. They're sitting 2.33. So, oh, and he's been playing a lot. I've seen him in almost all the games. Yeah, it's just it's been a, a stunning brick run for him. Uh, but uh, Guitar 195X, of course, safely in there in fifth place. And who else we have there? Uh, let's have Burner 220 kind of trying to fight their way back into this too. So that, that other table really was some players that need to score. It's almost – that table's almost like an elimination table over there. I can't believe I'm folding this, Mark. I'm such a nit. Wow, 2,700 in this pot with an ace-deuce 5-6. I'm betting there's a wheel out there. Just a hunch. Shh. Somebody might not notice that. And there is your prepared board just to make it fun, too. And there is your wheel. I had two fours, so there's only the and possibility of one other. Yeah, it's not It there. is good. It rock forever. Big hand right there. That's going to put him in the easily in the chip lead for the tournament and we say goodbye to coolering pro out of there in 16th place so coolering pro uh came in six so not a big deal there uh to be safely into the final trying to win another table dj deep v is now all in pre-flop six nine eight couple of diamonds that's just the perfect board for a high low game uh, the, the four on the turn makes that ace deuce pretty good. Yeah. Um, so seven tens, the nut high. There's no seven ten. And rounding will pick up the side pot. Main pot does go to deep V with a four six. No one hit the low. Wow. Wow. Man, luck can turn just like that. Uh, on the other side, uh, Mopper has fallen down to 419, so the Mopper needed some points and uh, is going to be fighting again with the stakes at 15300. So that's going to be choose your hand and go for the Mopper. And Ace Deuce 3 4 for Deep V. And uh, got, the Ace Deuce is going to pull it off that four on the river. Got the help to save the hand. 
at least got the chop out of it. Chopper, chopper. I need a hand here soon, Mark. Either that or I just need you guys to just quit being bullies. Uh -huh. <laughs> got a good table there. A lot of good players there. That's for sure. There's one really bad one, but I've only got 878 chips. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that'll put the low hand on the board in play now with the 457. I like the 457. A couple of hearts. You have some odd sound effects coming off your computer, by the way. Me? Yeah. Oh, I've probably got my wife in the background doing something in the kitchen that you can probably hear. Now I'm hearing some beeping. Oh, when oh it's there's, a, it's there's my a turn. Mad City with a wheel. With a wheel. Ship it. And a, six high, a seven high straight and a wheel. Yeah, it's okay. Not bad. I was more focused on the seven high straight than I was the wheel. I figured the wheel would give me three quarters, but I figured I was chopping alone. I was wrong. Oh, let's see. What else we got the going here? Oh, Fr uh, Frodosco there is the devotee. Uh, let's see. Rock Forever Lucky. <laughs> Lucky you is great. Two words, Drew Barrymore. Exactly. Oh, come on. Exactly. Jesus Christ. Why don't you guys just go watch Never Been Kissed, too, while you're at it? Casino Examiner, I called out Gordon to Wayne Root saying he got his millions from Full Tilt Poker's Ponzi scheme. Who knows? Oh, look at that little run on the Raz hand. Oh, pretty sick. Ace, deuce, four, six, seven. Wax, DJ, deep V. So that will probably end DJ's, unless we have a big turn, huge turnout next week, uh, that probably ends DJ's chances of winning the table. I didn't think the king was going to follow. I didn't even think he'd call with a 10. But okay. And don't forget, if you, want, you guys want to call the show, it's 702-997-3015. It's 702-997-3015. Next week, Joe Stapleton, the Clown Prince of Poker. That's what I'm going to call him on the show, I think. The Clown Prince. The Clown, the clown Prince of Poker. Not the Crowned Prince. No, the the clown. clown Prince. Because he is funny as hell. Great guy, too. I, I, it makes me so mad that Joe is not in America anymore. It really does. Horrible disappointment. Said he will probably not be attending the World Series this year either, so. I, I still can't believe Huff and Stapes never got syndicated. <laughs> I, I, it's just, I think about it. You know, I think about like the stuff that you and I are doing and, you know, and with Joe and I'm like, how were they not on the radio? I mean, they had the, the, the podcast show at the John Lovitz podcast theater, but I, I just never understood that how they weren't on the radio. They were great. Jackie Bray. Oh, I didn't realize how loud my mouse is until I can hear it in the mic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that clicking. It's its really annoying. <sighs> I'll, I'll try to quit clicking via the mouse, oh, okay. via the pad instead. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to mess your game up. It won't. It won't mess okay. up my game. Right. I've got two hands. All right. You're raising me with a 10 in Raz. Yeah. It was, uh, maybe there's something hiding under those cards. Which yeah, you, he which you probably, which you front. probably now should be concerned about. Well, let's see if a bet's going to come. You're going to know real quick. I'm pretty sure my eight low's good. Eight six it three is now. two ace. Well, I'm pretty sure it was good before. I mean, I I, I wasn't he, his ten never phased me. And speaking of bad poker stuff, you know, I remember. Uh, Saw a commercial with Eddie Cibrian and um, Leanne Rimes. I guess they're doing some sort of interview. Remember Tilt? Oh, yeah. Actually, I, I like that show. I mean, it wasn't horror bad or anything like that. What was the other one? Lucky. With with Lucky, what, what was it? Lucky Letterer? Or oh, they, they called him? I can't remember. 
Oh, that's a, such a good Raz hand. I don't know why I wasn't betting on it the whole way, just being nice. Yeah, there you go. All right. Look, so at, that. Look at that, Mark. That was, was good. Pretty, that was, that was good. That was, yeah. that was a pretty hand. Yeah. Rock Forever says the grand. The grand. The grand. You know, I got to find that movie that I saw. I, w I was doing some social media stuff, and... I was looking at, uh, you know, different poker movies and, you know, finding seeds and things like that. And I I believe it was called A Hand for the Little Lady. Classic flick from like, it was from like 1966, I want to say. Somewhere in that ballpark. That movie was something else. Uh, it was like Jason Robards and I got I to gotta look that one up because it was a and that movie was very good. I think. Owning play... Mahoney. What? <laughs> what? What? Did you like, did, did you watch Owning Mahoney? I've never seen Owning Mahoney. Oh, you've got to watch Owning Mahoney. Oh, it's so good. Oh. It is such a great show. Oh. The, and dude's dead now, so that's got to be a classic. That movie was a, was a big hand for the little lady. Henry Fonda, Joanne Woodward, Jason Robards, Burgess Meredith. Uh, Kevin McCarthy was in that. Not Andy McCarthy, of course. Yeah, no Steve McQueen, though. Sorry, Morpheus. <laughs> but it was kind of like an Ocean's Eleven in the in the uh, in the Old West. Great movie. Got a. I'd highly recommend anybody checking it out. I'm not much a movie, movie connoisseur. I did like what you. All right. So we are on limit stud right now. And I'm trying to bet. Matt said he adds suited with that ace. Morpheus with the king queen. He doesn't want to battle this. See? See? He fooled us. <laughs> Of course, Morpheus Waits uh, won the last table that we gave away and donated it to a friend who lost everything in Hurricane Sandy. So can't blame him if he's trying to win one for himself this time around. That's awesome to donate it to a friend. That is amazing. Uh, Guitar 195X is your chip leader at this point. 6157, followed by Mad City Ads 5088. Burner 220 is at 3767. Rounding 0216 is at 3444. And Rock Forever 7, 3372. Your leaders right now. Got a couple short sacks there. Clandy, the devotee, and S. Brisk. But S. Brisk is sitting out. So Brisky just trying to steal some unnecessary points. Sorry, that's a dog you hear in the background breathing. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that's not my wife. <laughs> you know I think I need tonight? I think I need some Thai food. Ooh, Thai food. I can eat some Thai. Yeah, we have... Just grilled I, chicken, man. That's you guys... Everybody that knows me knows I love Thai. And we found a little place that's just down the street from here. Wow, double elimination on the other table, by the way. Danger Meow and Slick 142, both out. Bye bye. Not good for either of them. So Slick is still alive, but probably going to need to win next week. So big double elim over there. It looks like uh, let's see who it looks like. Scrub might have been the beneficiary of that one. But two down, same hand, other table. And limit stud right now. Of course, stakes are at 300, 600. Of course, we keep this, got to keep this horse thing moving or it takes forever. Really want to, I really want, oh, guitar was, I'm sorry. Yeah, guitar, my bad. <laughs> what was I thinking? Um, but yeah, great tie place right near the house here. Uh, noodle shop or something like that. And uh, of course, the other thing that, if this gets over with quick, uh, wouldn't mind swinging down to PT's. Here in Las Vegas, one of the PT locations down the southwestern part of the town. Go say hi to Joe Payne at the Nevada Poker League. And they're giving away some great stuff down there today. Yeah, a lot of cash. 
ace queen versus ace nine and the nine hits oh you gotta love luck man you get that three card out that you're dying to get up against somebody else okay. gotta love that and I, I can never fade it clandy is out on the other table That's good news. So Clandy was in seventh place in the standings, eliminated, no scoring for them tonight. So once again, some chances to slide up the board for a few of these guys that really need it. Well, we got Morpheus Waits all in over here at the featured table. Of course, limit stud and not a lot up there. It's a pair of three shown for Morpheus. I have a pair of fives, but that's it. Yeah, I figured can't beat figured the figured the two favorite two pair was there. So Morpheus will pick that up, goes to twenty five seventy one. And climbs the board. Climbs the ladder, as they say in uh, in Australia. All right, rock forever. Puts in the 400, raise from Mad City to bring in him for Morpheus. He'll discount that quickly, and Mad City gets the auto fold on that one. Well, Rock made it 400. I made it 800. Yeah. So yeah. we're looking at uh, nine players remaining, so pretty close to our final table tonight. And Brisky down to two chips, so that might uh, pretty much settle that. So once again, top five are going to score tonight. Burner is needing some points. Scrub uh, would be helpful. Uh, Morpheus could use him. JB Wisconsin definitely needs him. Rounding definitely needs him. So the other two short stacks got to kind of get it rolling here a little bit. Morpheus looking at a 9 3 9 showing with two clubs. Mad City showing Ace Queen 10 with two clubs. And they'll keep it small. Another And there's another club for Mad City, but. Morpheus not even thinking about it. That's one thing I don't get to do here in Las Vegas is go clubbing as often as I'd like. And there's an ace-high flush for Mad City ads. That'll take care of the two pair, and Morpheus goes out in uh, ninth place. We'll get the other table up on the board here for you in just a second. And S. Brisk is still in. So Morpheus, you lost a couple, a couple spots. I had to be feeling pretty good with the two pair and uh, you know the first five cards. Yeah, I had the flush in the first six. And Brisk is now out, so quickly down to seven. Yeah, that other BP here is WSOP's table, ah. telling yeah. me it's my turn. It's a loud beep. That is the beep we were referring to. All right, so burner, everybody's standing there. Look at rounding's going to get a lot of. You know, let's see if rounding's going to go for this or not. Burner leading, going to get to lead out with the ace queen here in stud high low. Call and there's the all in from rounding, and uh, everybody just calls it. Now Rock Forever's got the three lows showing, so chances are, wow, we really? I'm see, I'm wow. going to put him to the test there. I'm putting burner to the test there to see if he's really got anything because he can't put me not on the four or five this is a huge hand for rounding because rounding needs these points somehow i have a feeling rounding might have been chasing the low on this no uh, jackson eights and they are not good to aces and eights the dead man's hand took so, you out so rounding will be eliminated in seventh so one more player eliminated and the points will be on the board jb needing these points Desperately right now. Burner, uh, you know, sitting at 10,000 uh, will definitely be scoring tonight. He said definitely be scoring tonight. Yeah, good for him. I'm just trying to help the guy out. Well, that might not be true. Uh -huh. I, could, I could get him real quick. You don't want to play? I got your fives beat. Oh, I can't beat the low, though. Did he make two pair or just the low? Yeah, we can actually... Two uh, pair doesn't cover the full house that he's showing me. That's some uh, nice running cards there for guitar. 
So here's, by the way, here. well, here's the points breakdown tonight because we had the same amount of players from last week. So we're looking at the winner's going to get 4.95 points. Uh, second place is going to get 3.5. Heel Young, or I'm sorry, Heel Young, that was third last week. Third place is going to get 2.86. Shem Cooley's going to get 2.48. Uh, not Shem Cooley. God, I did it again. Uh, fourth place is going to get 2.48. Fifth place is going to get 2.21. So there's enough uh, enough points out there to let's see JB. Uh, actually, I don't think JB could quite catch up tonight, even with the win. It would be pretty close. So let me find the standings. So let's take a look here. Yeah, JB with a win actually would get into. The top 18 tonight. And I think second place would actually get him in there, too. Let me do some math here. Yeah, 5.03 is the cutoff at this point. So JB Wisconsin uh, with actually a third place would get themselves into the top 18. Uh, rounding right now just needs to score, but uh, falls up one point short. Uh, Burner is sitting. Let's find Burner here real quick. Big pot. Burner was actually first person out, so good chance for Burner here to uh, with a win could act. You know, pretty good chance to cinch up a spot if they could pull this out. The scrub would pretty much wrap their spot up tonight with with some points. So some interesting dynamics happening here, Nate. And this pot is whoever's going to win this pot right here is going to get a nice, nice. Uh, oh shit! And speaking of JB Wisconsin, all in on this hand. Probably hoping to have a low there, but Mad City down there with an East Deuce five could cause a little trouble on this. Not liking JB Wisconsin's chances on this hand. Huge pot right here. Six five four. Trip tens. He's got the four six. Wow. Oh, JB three four five six seven. That was a that was a great high. Gets the main high pot on that. Nate got the low. And notice Burner's chips. You got to take the five top five. You said yeah. Mark for points. You said I guarantee he's gonna be. We might end up having to having to call you out on your guarantee tonight. Buddy. All right. Because it doesn't take long for the hero to become a zero. <laughs> Did you just say that? Well, it's true. I've oh. been there. I've I've done that. I've also zeroed the hero many a times before too. All right, so, of course, we are now on limit hold'em. Stakes are at 500, 1,000. And Rock Forever's going to raise it, and we'll uh, take on Mad City Ads here. He's 4-7. And that does no good for my Jack King. So I'm going to let Rock have it. I'm not one of those chasers. All right, so once again, six players left here in event number 15 of the Off-Tilt Poker Tables Tournament Series. So uh, some of the players that uh, had better be, well, they better show up next week, that's for sure. You're looking at uh, some bubble players right now. Um, i got to say it's probably pretty hard for Mopper to get knocked out of there, uh, even though they are in 13th place. Scrubs all in right now with a five seven nine on the flop, along with Rock Forever, JB Whisk, and Guitar One Ninety Fives in there. So he's going to quadruple up if he can take this down. Just going to be big for him. Fifty four hundred chips. Third heart. Straight flush possibilities. And the ace that probably helps Scrub if he was willing to get it in there beforehand. That smells like an fu card to me. Look at that Kings. Sitting over queen there, eight flush. Queen eight flush for Scrubby. Boosh. Snapping kings, he is. Snapping kings. Now, well, so the, the field is evened a little bit more. Mad City Ads is now your leader at 7,526. Guitar 195X, 6275. Burner 220s at 6153. 
followed by Scrub 5400. Rockets a 41. JB is a 24. And there's another hand for Scrub. And we're getting close to us getting to take a break soon. With six players to go. Just about. We're got another big pot going. Three of us in here. Yeah, 3,500 already. Action is on guitar. Check it. Rock is 3,150. Got to imagine that, uh, you know, these guys, if they keep pushing, are going to be pretty pot committed by the river. Mad City's going to put it on them here a little bit. Queen of Hearts. Rock is going to check it. Mad City will bet 1,000. And the rock is out. And Mad City ads will extend. I was on, the only thing I did there is I was pretty sure he didn't hit the flop, so all I did was put pressure on him, knowing he wants to score some points. And I even showed it, but I, I had outs. I, it was a semi bluff, I guess. And the stakes, by the way, just went up to seven fifty fifteen hundred as we switched to Omaha high low. Of course, players are dealt four cards. You play for a high hand and low hand. Low hand must be a uh, high card. can be an eight in that. So, of course, the opportunities for the split pots here. Some of these short stacks might not be complained about. JB is all in here with the two pair. And that'll get a low on the board. And, oh, Burner's going to pick up a... Straight, straight on five, that five six and he sweeps and, it and the three oh look at that six five four three ace low and the straight to the seven burner so but jb there's your points but there's J, your points jb does score as he officially finishes fifth he was ahead of rock forever on that so rock finishing sixth so we're down to four and that means we're going to take a break since we're going to the game's on a break so stick around everybody we will be right back here on the mark hoke show I want to thank you for joining us. We'll be finishing up event number 15 of the Off Tilt Poker Tables Tournament Series right after this. One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high-quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit blindsquirrelapparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. The heat is on. Whether you're in the hot seat of a major poker tournament or just dealing with everyday life, stay cool with a brand new Arctic Blue cooling towel. Just wet your reusable and durable Arctic Blue cooling towel in cold water and you'll have instant cooling relief at your fingertips for up to five hours. The towel is lightweight and pliable, so you can keep it handy no matter where you are. Plus, it's absorbent enough to make sure you and your clothes stay dry while you stay cool. No need to sweat it out no matter what you're doing when you have an Arctic Blue cooling towel handy. So get the same cooling towel used by professional athletes, poker players, first responders, physical therapists, U.S. automakers, and even reality TV stars. So what are you waiting for? Visit them today at arcticblu.com and pick yours up today. Plus, enter the discount code MarkHokeShow when you check out and get 15% off plus free shipping to keep some of your cold, hard cash in your wallet. It's like the Arctic Blue Bear says, it's not cool to be hot. So pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel today. Want a chance to win the Poker Notes Live premium version for free, valued at $10? Poker Face News is offering an exclusive promotion only to the Mark Hoke Show listeners, whereby one version of the Poker Notes Live premium app is being given away for free every week. To win one, sign up to the Poker Face News email newsletter. 
where you will also be the first to hear exclusive interviews with some of poker's most interesting personalities, as well as much more. Sign up now at PokerFaceNews.com forward slash Mark Hoke. That's no spaces, no dashes, PokerFaceNews.com forward slash Mark Hoke. Do you dream? Do you dream big? The WSOP Academy can help make that big dream a big reality. Reality. If you want to learn more about the game of poker, we're here to teach you. And we can do it better than anyone else. With the most bracelet-winning pros, the biggest prize pools, the lowest student-to-instructor ratio, and the highest student success rate, no other live poker instruction can compare. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a poker beginner, after you attend one of our classes, you'll walk away with a broader understanding of the game, greater appreciation of the skill that it takes to win, and a roadmap to advance your game as far as you want. Whether you're trying to improve your tournament game or cash game, the WSOP Academy will raise your game and your confidence to a world-class level. Visit WSOPAcademyLive.com to register for your game-changing academy today. Use promo code HOPE to save a bet. When it comes to custom poker tables, why would you buy something someone else designed and even named for their sales or marketing purposes? The Nighthawk, the Gambler, the Big Slick, the Nuts. Sure, you can customize it if you want as long as you choose between black, red, or even green cloth, but that's about it. When you choose to play off tilt, it's not just another table, it's your table. The same price gets you a fully custom designed table that reflects your style and game. Off tilt makes it easy to design a truly one of a kind custom poker table that'll give you a home table advantage. Sure, Off Tilt could name their tables for marketing purposes, but why? It's not ours. We don't play on it. And to be honest, there are over a thousand named Off Tilt tables worldwide, including the WSOP, the Deep Stacks Poker Tour, the Jonathan Papelbon, as well as Julie's, Chris's, Scott's, Amber's, Tristan's, just to name a few. So let us add your name to the list and deliver a truly custom-crafted, furniture-quality poker table worthy of your game. Visit www.OffTiltPokerTables.com or call Brian Knott today at 262-490-3812. We'll show you why off tilt is the only way to play want more of the mark hoke show then follow us on twitter at mark hoke show and like our facebook page at the mark hoke show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world plus enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on itunes or at mark hoke show.podbean.com we're even on your mobile phone at mark hoke show.podbean.com backslash mobile thanks for listening and being a part of the mark hoke show this is the Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. And we are back here. Play is underway. Four left here in the Off Tilt Poker Tables Tournament Series event number 15. Only one more next week, same time, 5 p.m. Pacific. I can't Nick, hear you over the. That's okay. The, the, I think the sound is actually blocked. And stuff, so I can't hear you when you're coming back. Okay, well, that's fine. But well, thanks for joining us here, of course, along with Nate Dowland having a good time. Joe Payne is doing his thing on Sunday nights. We'll all be back in the studio on KLAV coming up on Wednesday, 3 p.m. Pacific. So make sure you tune in for another great show. And of course, like the promo said, you know, get your uh, get your podcasts. Get your podcasts here. Pod- your fresh smoking hot podcasts podbean.com or itunes all right so 5250 in this pot yoikes so we are on omaha high low right now stakes are at 750 1500 burner looking for points as right now burner is trying to you know win would probably you know, pretty good uh, chance to wrap up a spot here for the burner. Uh, Jim, I'll show him. I didn't have anything. I'm just putting pressure on him. Um. <laughs> so JB Wisconsin, uh, 2.33 points tonight as he finished fifth. And he'll get 2.21 for his finish tonight. So that's going to leave him short right now. Uh, 4.54 which right now is not enough to get into the championship event. Hallow Wicked was the bubble boy right now in the 18th, 
but he's going to drop with Berner picking up points tonight. So now the 5.61 of Heel Young is going to be the number to chase. Ace two three flop in in o Omaha. <laughs> that's a that's pretty sick. That's oh a look at flop. oh that's pretty nice. Uh, three low spades too. And pair the board. That's perfect. That is a perfect Omaha Island. There's no right way here. we can beat Scrub. Scrub's got to have a four here. Nope. Well, I still get low. I'm good with that. Ace three. All right, four left. <laughs> what a flop. Two, four, five. In Omaha High Low. That's such a great board. Two, four, five, six. <laughs> I can't fool. I, I can't fool. I had four pair. <laughs> I couldn't oh, fold. Oh, God. <laughs> There's no way I could fold four pair there. <laughs> uh, can you fold four pair, Mark? Uh, I can't fold no, four. No, I'm not, not folding. Until I see the river. I no, see I'm, the not, river. I'm not folding four pair in that spot. Had to see the river. All right. So, once again, we now know who our... Bubble Boy is going into the last event. Going to be Heel Young, 5.61. That means a lot of people can catch Heel Young. You better uh, Ooh. better get here next week and score. Guitar 195X. And uh, Burner is out. So Burner is going to pick up. Uh, let me get my number here. Burner was at 4.26. That will now put Burner give... Burner 2.48 on top of that. So that will be 6.74. So it kind of puts them in that little a little pack there of the six pointers. Of course, the rest of these guys pretty safe or, or definitely safe to move on here. Scrub uh, gets some wrap up points here, gets him kind of out of the, the 10 that 10 spot. So he'll get to move up a couple of point, a uh, couple of places here. Uh, Mad City Ads looking for win number three tonight. As is Guitar One Ninety Five X. I think that'll be our first three-time winner in one of these. That's pretty impressive, guys. He won't. <laughs> I'm gonna win it. All right. It's mine. All mine. Mad City can take over the overall point standings. Guitar cannot. I got a seven low already. He's got an eight low. He didn't improve. His trip eights are no good. Oh, the good. Scrubby's out of there. That was my first bounty. Uh, actually, it's your second. Is it? Yep, that's what the board says. So Scrub out in third, so we're going heads up with two of our top five players. Man City Ads and Guitar 195X. And, of course, we're on Raz and... Neat showing a jack is hanging in there. King for guitar. That's not good either. Pair of kings. Both pair up. <laughs> What's better, the pair of kings or the pair of twos? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say the pair of twos and bet that. <laughs> All right. So now bring in there for Neat on this and gets out of the way with the special guitar showing an ace. Yeah, Raz is Raz is a pretty easy game. If you're showing a jack or batter, chances are you're you're uh, not seeing fourth street or a ten or better, right? Guitar? Yeah, I didn't think so. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I start off four seven five. That's great for a Raz hand. Oh, by the way, scrubbing the Poker Stars chat box is calling out. So I'm in now. I'll win that tourney now, LOL. <laughs> so he's not even blinking an eye on that. He's calling He's calling his shot. He's aiming for the fences. That's good. He needs yeah. to. Uh, let's see. Oh, Rock was looking for the phone number. I had the chat box covered. I'm sorry. Um, if you want it, he's still around. 702-997-3015. It's on the screen, you goofballs. If you're watching 
Uh, casino examiner says, show Joe Payne to update his House of Payne board on the Las Vegas Advisor website. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do that right now. Got an 8 low guitar. It could be over if you make this call. I have an 8732 low. Is this a live feed? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a tell, Mark. He said I misclicked. Ah. Well, you don't want to misclick this last one. I've got a 7 low. And he called. He called. And that's going to wrap it up. Mad City Ads is your winner. So, winner, winner. Well, there you go, Nate. Nice job. Third win for you, and that'll uh, propel you into first place. Propel me into first place? Yes, I was in right. first place the whole time, Mark. It just wasn't keeping track right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, whatever you say. All right. Well, that's going to do it. So, guys, make sure you join us Wednesday on KLAV, 1230 a.m., and klav 1230am.com. Uh, we'll sure we'll have a fantastic guest for you on the show there. Uh, next Sunday coming up here on Roguewire, we have, and of course, markhokeshow.com, we have uh, Joe Stapleton and the final regular event of the Off Tail Poker Tables tournament series. Should be a great show coming up with Stapes. I'm going to get a kick out of that. I think we should keep Stapes on for two hours. Yes, yes, we should. Just torture the hell out of him. I agree. What would he? What, <laughs> but we do have to come up with some good for Stapes. We we definitely owe him from his last appearance. So, all right. Well, that's gonna do it, guys. So we will see you next time here on the Mark Oak Show. Catch you Wednesday and Sunday. Big announcement coming later this week too. So, thank you very much for being with us, guys. We will see you next time. <laughs>